Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Are we ready? Okay, some people are writing on the chat. All right, good evening, good evening. Okay. Welcome to classes. This is our second week. I hope you're fine. Well, some people are reporting issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, then we show. So on the screen, we have the name of the course, yes, the level, and my name, of course, and the date, right? So today is October the 2nd, Monday of 2023, and we are starting the second week and the second unit of this level, of this module. Well, Let's keep going with the generalities for the class, for the video conference, which is really important. Okay. So between these two, yes, they, they tell you the importance of being at, at yeah, of attending actually the lessons, the video conferences, and the minimum, I mean, the time that we must have. And of course, the expected behavior on the video conference itself, right? So as we go on, we go to the lesson, actually we're gonna be on the lesson number one from the unit two. And this will be the objectives, right? So we're going to explain the relevance of the seven R's in logistics. And we're going to be expressing advantages of outsourcing three PL service providers, sketch basic plan to select the PPBL, the three PLs actually, and design the basic checklist to hire three PLs providers, right? So this is along the unit, what we're gonna be discussing, what we're gonna be arguing about, and what we are going to be describing, all right? So, as I was mentioning, yes. I hope everything is okay. Everything is fine, and we are ready to start. Well, without any party ado, I'm going to have to take the attendance because this is really important. This is part of the procedures I have to follow. And I'm going to go straight to the attendance list. Let me just check something really quick. Mm, yeah. So they is done. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yes. Are you ready, Elizabeth? Present teacher. Uh, good evening. Peter Ernesto. Not yet. Elizabeth Stephanie. Good evening, present Good teacher. Evening. Welcome. Okay, give me one second. I'm just checking something right here really quick. 
All right, give me one second. I'm about to die in this computer. Wait a second. Okay, I'm sorry. The next person was Emerson. He's driving, that's what he said in the chat. I think, yes. All right, next one, Fernando. Good evening. Good evening. Next one, Francisco Ernesto. Um, Present is, voy a estar como oyente nada más. Ok. Hazel. I'm afraid Hazel is not here. Juan Antonio. Not here. Julissa. She's not here. Carla Ivania. Hi, good evening. Presentation. Hello, hello. Luis Javier. Present. Hello. Luis Miguel. Mm. Well, I'm sure uh, Present. Hello, good evening. Wells. Manuel Alexander. Not here. No. Marilyn. Present. Hello, good evening. Maria Ernesto again. Present. Hello, good evening. Robert Peso. Present, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Oh, Ronald. Present. Yes. Hi, Ronald. Good evening. Victor Noe. Well, I don't see Victor. And Vidal Vaira. No. Okay, this again. Waldir. Present teacher. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Carlos Alberto. Present. Good evening. All right. Well, this is the beginning of a second unit. Okay. Thank you for attending. I hope you are ready. And you have gotten your material. You have completed your assignment from the first unit because that was intended to be done last week. So we were done with the first unit, all right? So there is, um, let me show. 
there is a, a still a pending activity that we have from last class and I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to try to remember, okay? Try to recap, try to recall your experience from last week's classes. And at the same time, try to make memory, okay? Try to um, describe what practically was last unit about, okay? And talk to your partner about your experience in classes from last week, okay? And what you remember, what we studied, what we practiced, okay? This was the whole unit about the distribution channel. So try to tell your partner what your experience was like during the classes during last week and during this first unit, what you remember. And besides that, try to do the last activity we had still pending. Last activity was about uh naming let's say this uh tips the successful retailers implement prioritizing letting go training staff knowing the competition shifting some inventory store inventory sorry and at the end they say choose a famous retailer a famous retailer store in your country in analyzing the five tips presented in the article are practiced by the store you choose. Okay. Of course, we're not doing a, a research, right? We're just saying what we think, what we believe. In this case, would be an opinion. Okay. So that's your opinion about that retailer. What could be a famous retailer in our country? Well, there are fam many famous stores such as supermarkets that they just sell the products that they get from the producers. So you can discuss also about that. So with your partners, first talk about your experience in classes last week. Then talk about what we studied in the unit one. Then talk about your experience on the platform exercises. And then talk about one retailer store in our country and how they apply these five tips. Is the instruction clear? Yes? No? So, so? Do you have any questions, any doubts? Want to ask anything before we start working on this activity? Apparently no. Okay. When you and the teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, teacher, I am still driving. Oh, yeah, no problem.
Fine. Fine. The the weekend was so short. And yours? Yes. It was okay. <laughs> Can you share your screen? Okay, uh, who, who have the instructions? I think uh, we have to, okay. we have to do a resume about the uh, first week and mm -hmm. make a uh, last exercise. Okay, uh, who wants to start to, to recap uh, what was the experience of the last week? Uh... In my first week, in in my first week here, I learned about the distribution channels, about how the cons how the distribution channel for consumer product, the types of distribution channels, the direct the direct channel, retail channel, wholesale channel, and then we talk about about certainty expressions and how to use it with the distribution channels. And in my opinion, I, well, I learned like new words to my vocabulary, words that before I didn't know that exist. So, I feel satisfied with the first class of first week, sorry, of, of the classes. I got to ask you. Okay, let me on, see. Let me on see Friday, I. I... I didn't pay attention uh, very much because I I was on calling. Mm. Yeah, also I was uh, driving. Right? Yes. I was entering home when teacher was giving the instructions. Oh, God. But we can talk. What? Yes. Maybe we can talk about the class on Thursday, the us, us? Yeah, but I don't have enough information right, right in the in my notebook. But I'm, I'm searching myself and if I, maybe if I had here the, the PDF that I Ah, yeah, remember, I, I, I sent you by WhatsApp. Ah, yes, that's right. Let's see. This one. No, that's, no, that's not, that's the... Uh, that's a book. Um, oh, it was in the group. I, yeah, in the group, you're right. Mm, there it is. It's before. That's right. Okay. Okay. Unit one. Possible channels. I think this one. 
was on Thursday. For the divorce too. Okay, I think this um in sixteen on the page sixteen is uh where we were working on Friday, right? Let me see. <clears throat> sixteen, sixteen. Yeah. Because I remember on Thursday we were we have to order that that words. Yes. I remember. Okay. Well, here uh, this well this one the the page sixteen was discussed in groups. So, okay. well, you have to read. Well, for example, the first one: Why are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to read? Uh, with Taylor, that's that is the, the first one. The prioritizing is key. Say why do sales become strong? It's uh, letting go is a must. I mean, you had uh, those answers. You have to um, um, explain it using your own words. The the same example here, but but only using your own words. The third is uh, time is scheduling time limits and deadlines. Even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and on the schedule, eliminating extra time and spending where it shouldn't be. Um, letting go is a must. Successful retailers analyze the situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are is supporting their customers. Uh, training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollar into your employees to reap the rewards of a strong associ associates and as a result, a strong sales. Knowing the competition is priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, miss opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Shifting store inventory inventory is okay. So several merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customer so to consumer trends, work with vendors, and respond to what customer with to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Okay, so, now we are, mm -hmm. we are, I'm sure. The first question, why are scheduling times limit and deadlines important to a retailer? Um, accord, according to the paragraph, uh, it's important to, to schedule in time limits because uh, if you don't if you you don't have um parameters for that you will be you will be wasting uh, your time and your uh, the the time of the people that is working with you so you have uh -huh, and you you will be wasting uh the time and the and the resources uh yeah. the, because of that it's important that you that you try to um to do the most in the in the short in the shortest time or in uh, uh with deadlines yeah also uh, it's important to stay focused on, on the schedule uh, about the article eliminating extra mm -hmm. time then where it shouldn't be 
Mm -hmm. Right. The second one, one is what? Uh huh. Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Because I think because the employees become like more strong, like more strong associates, like partners, I don't know, something like that. Uh -huh, right. I, I, I was reading and according to that, if you um if you are in the in the retailer industry, uh you are not you are not selling directly to to the client. So if you are the the owner, if you are the boss, you are no you are um you don't sell directly to the client. You have employees that are the the uh, that do it. So you have to invest and to have um competitive or to to have a happy uh, or comfortable to your employees and if you, if they are comfortable if they are motivated they will do a better a better job uh, and they will serve a better client service uh, to the client so you have to invest in your people if you want to if you want to 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 have better results with a with a client Yes, I agree with you. It's it's better training the employees and, and keeping keeping happy, mm -hmm. happy them, and that um, they are agree. Um, that's good. And the last one, what is a good way to get to know the competition? I think that a way to know the competition is to analyze trend, uh, analyze missed opportunities of the competent, or uh, search for new strategies to compete for sales. Um, yeah, on that. Also, teacher says that we are mm -hmm. working on the, the third exercise. We're going to choose a famous retailer store in the country mm -hmm. and analyze if the five tips present in the article are practiced by the store that we choose. Do you have any ideas? Uh, we can choose a, be, uh, we a can Tyler? Choose, uh, choose a store, maybe a Sportline, Tienda Libre. Sportline. Uh -huh. Constancia. So uh, what do we have to do? Uh, choose a firm, a firm which is going to try and place in the article that produces the story you choose. Um, uh -huh. I think, for example, in the retail marketplace. It's like it's a... like survive. Uh, yeah. Or... Like to try to surviving in the with all the competition. Mm, okay. Um. Shifting, shifting, shift. Well, I think uh, shifting, shifting store inventory is okay. Um, shift. It's like uh, horario, oh, but okay. shifting didn't know how to. Shifting store inventory. It's okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans 
to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Oh, I listen to customers, react to consumer trends. It's like uh, they they shouldn't have any issue when if you, for example, buy uh, maybe, uh, for example, 10 pink shoes, but customers say to you, we prefer to buy uh, blue shoes. So you don't have to, it won't, it sh that, that shouldn't be an issue to, to sending or get rid of that inventory because you're you're paying attention to the customers in order to improve your sale. Okay. And also this this page is in the in the website. It's one of the tasks. Oh um, okay. But this is this is quite easy. You only uh, the end of the year season is coming, so they I think that they are all the um, all the people that are, that will work for the for the season for the for the end of the year season. I think that they receive um, they receive a training, so um, I think that it is uh, indispensable that they they. they they should be trained uh, to uh, to know about uh, all the um, that they they would sell. And, um, the another one is knowing the competition is a priority because I I would imagine that they have many people in the corporate area that they they analyze how the competition is. Uh, how the competition is doing. Uh, so, but uh, I think that uh, as a Siman, I don't know if they are so. So many comp co competitors in the market. Maybe because uh, now I don't know how many, how many competitors. Mm. So. But but I think that maybe because Iman is, is regional, so because it is in in, in Panama, they have uh, that in other countries uh, apart from El Salvador that they maybe uh, uh, they will have uh, more company more more competition. I think, and I and I would imagine that they are. That they analyze constantly um, the the competition and what and what they are doing, um, and another one, the shifting store inventory is okay. I will imagine that they have to be careful um, with the inventory. Uh, so uh, I I think that they um, must. Uh, that that we that this season the end of the season I think they 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 sell too much uh, they sell so much so I think that they they should they should have controls in the in the inventory to to cover all the demand that they will that they will be that they they will experiment. And I think that the deadlines, if they if they put deadlines to the, to the operation, I think that uh, uh that is better. And uh, for example, if you should if you buy online, they they say they say you they they told you that you you will have your product in um in a period of time from three to five days, I think. But, but but sometimes it, it, it could change because all the demands or, or they have they they have a shortage uh a shortage uh, of inventory so it will it will take more time to to give you the to give you the product but normally they they warranty um a specific period of time in in, in where you will expect uh, to to receive or to go to to the store to um how do you say retirar to retire the 
your your body. Yeah, sometimes they have a discount throughout the buy online. All right. Well, now I would like to listen to some of you according to what you were describing, discussing, interacting, expressing your opinions with your partners. Okay, if you don't want to talk about the exercises, at least talk about your experience and the exercises on the platform, okay? Well, let me... Let me choose one by one. Oh, yes, here we go. Okay, the first person, Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Um, yes. Could you tell us about your experience in class last week? Uh, okay. I, um, well, I feel it's good because it's more conversation, but the, um, before this class, I have the, with other teachers, but uh, the, we, we see we can complete uh, we only uh, doing the um, exercise practice but no conversation uh, i think is the good for this class because only it's conversation all right thank you very much Mr. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Good evening. Hello, good evening. You remember what you remember from last week? In last unit, unit one. No, I don't remember. Sorry, mm -hmm. my internet. Your internet is failing. Hmm. <laughs> well, apparently. Mr. Castillo is not available. Now, Mr. Acuna says he will be listening. He's not feeling well. Magdiel is out. Hi, did you complete the last exercise? Um, 
We're talking about an example of a retailer yeah, store here in the country, and yeah. you know, they apply the strategies. We were talking about the uh, Siman mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the uh, Siman uh, keeping keeping training your employees, mm -hmm. and they have a strategic strategic and uh, marketing strategic. Mm -hmm. For example. We were talking about uh, uh, sometimes they have uh, offered or discount through mm -hmm. the buy online. Mm -hmm. If you buy online, you have a you have a discount. Mm -hmm. True. Um, yeah, that that is all the term. All right. Thank you. Manuel Alexander, once again. Uh, I passed. Uh -huh, that's what I said, once again. <laughs> okay. Mario Ernesto. Well, apparently, he's not here. Fernando Jose. Okay, yes, what was the last unit about in general terms? About distribution channels. About uh, how to be a good entrepreneur. How to how to make grow up your own your own business. How how the strategies can how to apply the strategies to, to raise your employees, best incomings, and all things like that. And also we talk about in this unit, well, how to use certain expressions. And the, the other one, the last ones, I don't remember the last expression that we saw. Okay, the comparison. Yes. As comparison. plus attitude plus yes. uh -huh. That was the last and, instruction. Yes. And about the platform, mm -hmm. I think the platform is really friendly. It's easy to use, and most of the exercises are in the book. So. Yeah, in you the can study the lesson, and if you and if you are yes. in class. I just you do the homework, so mm -hmm. it is with me. <laughs> All right, yes. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm going to keep the wheel in order to choose future participants, okay? No problem. Well, as we were checking at the beginning of the class, Well, we're gonna start, well, we'll just talk about this, about the seven R's of logistic. And this is introduced through, I got this image, which represents the seven R's of logistic, because if you go to your manual, right after doing this exercise, you find out that you have on the unit two, logistics okay so it's pretty much about business okay <laughs> but that's why these manuals were created i mean with this intention like so the first thing we gotta discuss is explain the relevance of the seminars in logistic you're like what the Yes. <laughs> okay, what are the responsibilities of a logician and what do you think logistic is about? So it's like, ah, anybody, any idea what's logistic? What is logistics? What is it about? 
as I already show you on the screen, the seminars definitely have to do with that, right? So the arts of logistics. The first one is right product. The second one, right quantity. The third one, right condition, right place, right time, right customer, and right price. So that's why they are R, because all of them are right, 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 right. Okay, correct, right? Right product, right quantity, right condition, right place, right time, right customer, right price. I'm going to share this um this image for you to discuss. What do they refer when they say the right product? The right quantity, right condition, right place, for each of them, right? So that you can discuss. I mean, you just say, okay, I think right product, it refers obviously that if you have ordered shoes, you're not gonna receive uh, jeans, for example. That if you have ordered um, electronics, you're not going to receive animals food, okay? So <laughs> definitely has to be this right, the correct product that you have ordered. Right quantity, if you have ordered seven bucks, you're not gonna receive four or three, or they, they tell you, I'm gonna send you the others next week or next month. The right condition, I mean, that they are not damaged, that they were delivered in the conditions that you expect, right? The right conditions, okay? Right place, that if you order in San Salvador, they don't send the product to San Miguel, for example. Right time, that if they promise they were going to be delivered next Monday, it's going to be delivered next Monday, right? Customer, that you don't get to another person, okay, in the right price, that they don't say, oh, no, now your bill is going to increase in $200 because of these or because of that or because of the delay or because now gas is more expensive, right? So... Those are the right R's. I mean, the seven R's of logistics because all of them are with the right, okay? So this is something that I want you to, I mean, try to discuss with your partners what before doing that. Whenever you have this type of, let's say, new information, new content, always try to follow this, you know, the lesson, try to find your manual, try to find the information, right? So, logistic has to do with transporting, right? So, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to take a look at this, okay? Try to check it out and explain the relevance of the seven right, the seven arts, sorry, and logistic, and what are the responsibilities of a logistician, and what do you think logistic is about, okay? If you want, you can do a little bit of research, and then you tell us to the class, all right? I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to do your research, investigate if you want, if you need to.
All right. Let's see who's going to participate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're the lucky one. Okay. What do you think is logistic about? Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hi. Did you get any idea of logistics? Um, yes. Tell us. Uh, I think the logistic is um is the um the weight of the many companies has um to distribute distri distribution the, the products um like uh, transportation um how they 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 care um how do you say your art teacher take take or uh, carry uh -huh. carry carry her product the their product um from warehouse to or or retailers to customer or clients mm -hmm. i think that is logistic right. how they can put your products um in in their customer okay nice well dear hi good evening hey have you thought about the importance of the seven hours i think that uh, one excuse me okay are you going to share with us about logistic or do you have any idea of the seven parts? Um, maybe the first thing. Uh, All right. <laughs> okay. Have you done your research about logistics? I found out that logistic is like the um uh, um it's like the process to move a, a good or a service from one place to another place to transport that and I, and I assure that uh, that thing is moving like in in a safe way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely all right thank you Jalisa? Julie? Not available. Carlos Alberto? Well, did I can? Well, Antonio never answers either. Oh, my dear, you already participated. I, I already participated here. Uh -huh. I was first. You were the first one. True. Yeah. Oh, Fernando again. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. It's the wheel, it's not me. 
Okay, so, your concept, or, or you want to talk a little bit about the importance of the seven R's in logistics? I, I only knew about the three R's. Really? Which are yes. those? Is reuse, recycle, and... <laughs> reduce, and... reuse, and recycle. Exactly. But that's to protect the environment. Yes, <laughs> not, not this other thing. <laughs> okay, nice. Now I know the 10 R's. <laughs> <laughs> the one from logistic and the one from the environment. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's so funny because once I was leading a, a recycling campaign and yeah, my kids were singing, <laughs> reduce, reuse, and recycle. <laughs> but they were saying in Spanish and it was fun. Okay, you just make me have these memories back from it. Oh, and we won. We won a project for that company because we collected a lot of plastic and a yes. lot of cans, and we won a, a prize from Constructores Verdes of about $200 to re rebuild an area that was damaged in a, in a neighborhood of a student. That was fun, actually. <laughs> All um... right. And about the logistic is about to me when I saw the picture in the book, mm -hmm. I just think in a software maybe about how can you maybe track mm -hmm. the product and then I I think about call centers. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. And now that we have all these uh delivery services. Probably, it's just buying and, and you know getting things from from one store or from one restaurant. They usually have like this tracking. Uh -huh. yes. But imagine for big retailers that buy or import products from all Central American countries, or that are moved from one port to stores where the products have to be sold so they gotta distribute and they have to be in this good conditions and besides that some products are really difficult to move around so those are really tough conditions i would say okay we're just going to go back to the manual so that you can get more familiar with it but before we do that, I would like to, give me a second. I would like to share with you some uh, information that I have gotten regarding this topic. And I, and I found it very useful. Give me a second. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm going to paste Okay, I'm going to paste some an image about the first R, which is the right products, right? So, take a look at the explanation you have on the chat. It says right product while selecting, manufacturing, designing a product, organizations must look at the possible issues during transportation. They have to take care of the packaging unique requirements. For instance, it could arise from the bulk or weight or the product. If it's fragile or shape and the aerial distances of the distance of the transportation 
if certain level of standardization is considered and the product is appropriately designed. It will facilitate logistics and further make it warehousing, packaging, transportation, and product handling easier. The best approach is to pick the most demanding product to guarantee profits, having a good knowledge of the product can efficiently manage resources in time. So just by saying the right product, it involves a lot, right? So companies and producers, manufacturers have to take care of all these details, right? Because they all, I mean, they don't only have to think about, oh, we have to design this and this. They also have to design something that is practical or something that is going to be transported in a safe way. All right, so did you read it? Did you take a look at it? That's awesome. Now, what about the next one? I'm going to choose, I'm sorry, I'm going to share about, I'm going to share about two things, the right customer and the right Right, so that we can advance a little bit faster. Make sure you are reading the information on your chat, okay? So you just click on the image and the image is expected. So the right customer, the critical element of supply chain operation is the customer, finding the proper customer and spreading knowledge of our goods and services is crucial. However, finding the right target customer will be one of the tremendous tasks. Managers need to be familiar with their target market. If the product or service were sold in the right target market, the organization will generate more leads and attract potential clients. And then we go with the right price. Pricing is crucial for every organization as it decides whether it will occur Incur sorry profit or loss, the supply chain manager must research the current market, the current market trends, and fix competitive charges for the services and goods. Mm -hmm. They should have a fair price to monitor the expenses mm -hmm. and incomes of the organization, an ideal system for updating and storing the correct prices ensures success and growth in operations in supply chain management. I'm taking all this information, yes, definitely from a very useful page I found. Then, after the right price, I'm going to share, I guess, the right quantity and the right condition. Two more. Hold on. One second, I just mistakenly the right quantity in the right condition. This one is not that long, you see, let me see. So the right quantity, sending the appropriate quantity of wood is one of the most appropriate logistic works. Supply chain managers must find the proper quantity of deliverables and work with the manufacturing delivery teams to deliver an adequate quantity of goods to clients. We will ultimately lose some opportunities to make money if we cannot match the demands of our products. Additionally, we sorry, additionally, the price will raise if we stock excessive products in our warehouse. Therefore, the output must be balanced to meet demand without high inventory cost. And the right condition refers to the safe of delivery of the suggested product is the, in, in the ideal conditions in logistics. The product's quality should be preserved until the end user of, or the consumer uses them, right? So this is definitely crucial. And at the end, yeah, we have the right time and the right place. Let me just grab this too again. Mm 
let me share here. So as you already got this image as well, the right time, time is the most crucial factor determining the growth of your organization. If you have provided everything accurately, the entire process can fail. If you cannot meet the right time, you must have products in the stock in the right at the right time to fulfill your customer demands at the right time. So definitely time is key. And the right place, it is cru crucial, okay, to develop a robust system to attack the location of customers and product. It gives the customers a deep insight into the product's location. Okay. Yeah. As they say, the seven R's are very important. Okay, give me one second. Am um, I wait a second? Okay, I might move on to them up. Okay, after reading and explaining a little bit about the seven R's. Okay, I'm going to Read the conversation. Okay. Read this conversation between Alex and Pam about some issues with their order from, sorry, with their orders, forms, and their distribution centers. Okay, Alex, sales will go down this month. There was a problem with the orders forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Uh oh. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them on the right storage temperature. I already did, but there's something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. Uh oh. I will call them personally to request for the damaged battery to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. So they still trust the manufacturer will make it up for them. Okay. So anybody knows about any company? Any big company that works on logistic here in El Salvador? Any idea? DHL. DHL. Yes. Urbano. Urbano. But they mostly deliver packages, right? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Have you ever heard about? Uh huh. Felix. <laughs> we have Felix in El Salvador. No, right? No. Mm -hmm. But in bigger amounts. Have you ever heard about Crowley? No. Okay, so we're going to uh investigate a little bit about that because probably I think you must have seen on these big containers on the trailers. Apag Lloyd. Uh huh. So there must be another another logistic company. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit because I I I got a couple of former students who now work for this company. Okay, so we're going to read the conversation again, okay? And right after that, you have a few, yeah, couple of questions regarding. One second.
sorry. I've been having some issues breathing lately. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I got the COVID a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> All right. So after reading and practicing the conversation, yeah, you definitely go and answer these questions. But mostly what I care for is that you try to retell, report what you understood from the conversation and what's going on in the conversation, all right? So we're gonna work on this exercise in pairs or in trios. I'm not quite sure what the groups are made of. Let me see. I think I'm going to separate a couple of groups, all right? So, let's see. Probably I'm going to send these other two people. All right. And now we go. Okay, it will be right. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive all batteries. We had to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I had to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay, so... Do you want to switch? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, sales will go down this month. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We had to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the cre... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Crates. Crates. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, so how to discuss the answers to the questions below. Number one, what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? Okay. Mm. The problem was where was the order forms from the website? The, I already did it with with Waldir, but now you can be Pam and Waldir can be Alex. Okay. 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 Sales will go down this month. Um, uh, sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know, they will know what to do. Okay. Now we can discuss the answers to the questions. Okay. Uh, what are the questions? Do you what? have it? Yes, I have it. Okay. What caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution center? Uh, let's say that there was a problem with the order form from the website. Yes, and the pros were not delivered to the right distribution center. And what happened mm -hmm. to their products? Uh, some of the pro some of the products are damaged. Yes, the batteries. Because maybe because the temper, it was the it it no was the correct and damaged the batteries. Mm -hmm. Right. And who will pan call to receive the damaged products? What? Who will pan call to receive the damaged products? Uh Alex? So Alex received Uh-huh. Mom said that she will call to the manufacturers. Oh, because, okay. Mm -hmm. Because they will know what to do. Okay. And there are more questions? Nope. Oh, okay. Just uh, YouTube videos about logistics and hacking the supply, the supply chain. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't I mean, know what, what is what is she saying that we have to inform That's... them of mm -hmm. the right storage temperature. Because mm. oh, mm. you know, 
the the batteries was sent to other to other place. So remember that batteries should be storage in a cor in a place with the correct temperature. I mean, okay. I think what they, kind they, of they batteries they, 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 are there. Well, you know, well, remember there was a, an error for the place. Maybe if they if went sent to a place, um, um, forgot the word, húmedo. Um, wet. Wet, and you know there there's there are batteries. You know, they did they, they shouldn't be in a wet place, or. Um, that's only a sample that came to my mind. They okay, shouldn't be maybe. in a good place. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yes, but that that point. was an error from the website in the order with the orders. Okay. Let's see what else. Well, there's a link from you too. What is logistics? Warehouse system from the center service. Hacking the supply system. chain. Supply chain. Cadena de, de, de suplementos. No. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else? What are the responsibilities of logistic logistician? What do you think logistics is about? Mm, and then there is a large, mm, a large. In Spanish, I would say cuadro, but in English, table. No, it's not table. It's no. It's a grid, a grid. G R I D grid. And what is frame? Um yeah, it could be a frame. I I I, I will ask the teacher about this. A bear. A bear. <laughs> grid it means red. La cuadrícula, squares, la parrilla. El cacharro, el campo de fútbol. I was checking Twitter before and I saw there's a lot of people tired. <laughs> and they were saying a meme that was saying, please, restart the weekend because it didn't rest enough <laughs> yes please and just the the week is begun begin uh, short I, I feel it's short but I know I, I, I didn't think that it wasn't very hard in the in the work today but when I came home I feel very tired, too tired. Mm -hmm. That was a good example. The teacher says, when you use too, is uh, when you're referring to bad things, you know, too much traffic, too uh, much. Yes, noise, and yes I, re I remember that. Yeah, I, how do you say?
All right, everybody returns. Yes, right? Okay. Volunteers to read the conversation. Again, and Emerson, right? I was confused when I was reading your names. <laughs> okay, so my video start. And Emerson, you are the next person. Ready? Okay. Okay. Go, go. Health will go down this month. Pam, there was a problem with the order form from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Oh no. Please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. All right, nice, thank you. Was there any issue when reading this conversation and understanding what they were talking about? Well, I was saying that uh, we have doubts with okay. Stephanie with the uh, second the second paragraph from Pam. Mm -hmm. She said, we have to inform them of the right storage temperature. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, well, the first issue that they were sent for or for to another place, maybe this, this new place is a wet place. <laughs> And you know, mm -hmm. they're sending batteries. They could be damaged if we were storage in the wet place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please call the managers from the distribution center that received our batteries. Yeah, we have to inform them of the right storage temperature. Yeah, definitely there might, there might be something wrong with the temperature. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody um, else? Yes. Uh, uh create. Uh, well, we have to Google as an image. Because they they, it. Yeah, because if you translate it, it's a box like a box. <laughs> but uh -huh. the create it's like that kind of box that we use in the market to carry <laughs> tomatoes, for example. Exactly to transport. It depends on the products that you're gonna transport. Because some crates are even bigger or smaller, right? But in order to protect what is being transported. Yeah. For example, yeah. when the when they um transport, I don't know if they, this this example is, is kind of weird, but do you happen to see Madagascar that they were supposed to transport the animals on a on a big sheep? That they made these yeah, yeah. crates, so there were wooden boxes for the huge animals they were supposed to transport, right? So it depends on what it's being transported. So the crates have to um have the right measurements. That's okay. right. Oh, when they transport uh chickens, have you seen that they have these crates? But those are usually plastic ones. Yes, they were plastic. Mm -hmm. So it depends on, on the products or the goods that are being transported. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyone else? Anyone else wants to try reading the conversation? Yes or no? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. The question number one. What caused the products to be delivered? 
to the wrong distribution center. Uh -huh. What did you answer on the first question? What caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution center? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Why were they not the were I mean they were not delivered to the right distribution center? They were delivered to the wrong distribution center. What happened? What was the issue? Mm -hmm. No one answered this first question. What about the second one? What happened to their product? The first one is because the website with the forms of the website. Mm -hmm. Right. And the second one is because the battery got damaged because of the temperature. Yeah. The batteries got damaged, right? They say the uh, one of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries were damaged, right? And the third one who will harm called to receive the damaged products. Any idea? No one answered the last one. Mm -hmm. Um has to call call personality. She has to call personally. Whom? Mm -hmm. To the manager. To the manufacturer. To the manufacturers, to the manager, to the distribution center. <laughs> okay. To receive the damaged product, yeah, probably manufacturers, right? So she said they will know what to do. Okay, that's right. Yeah, she most likely will call the manufacturers. Oh, wow. Okay. Going on on what we started discussing and describing, okay. I already explained this. We already read about this. So I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have any issues solving this exercise. One of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven R's. Match the headlines to the corresponding examples, compare your answers with the partner. So we've got the right product, right place, right current customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, and right price. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from some other companies. What would be that? Right, right, uh, right, right time? Right time. Because they must ensure products are delivered within two days. It's something similar to what happened in the past because I think I don't think it happens anymore because of the traffic and the super crowded we are here in El Salvador but I remember when Pizza Hut says that if the pizza was not delivered in 30 minutes your pizza was free but now that's not happening anymore <laughs> and you didn't have to go and buy and make the line to buy your pizza all right so the next one easy right place uh-huh just because you say right location you know that is the right place 
yeah. Bill must have district controls and processes to ensure that products order on their website are delivered to the right location. Okay, and they are mentioning like very interesting brands. You see, Amazon, Bell, Grocers has to be. Mm -hmm. Right quantity. Exactly, because they mentioned, okay, so meet quantity requirements from their customers and ensure that the quantity of their product is not affected by perishability. This has to do with those products that are perishable, right? So things that can get ruined if they are not under certain uh, freezing conditions. Next one. Right customer. Mm -hmm. You sure? Local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label bottles and to a bulk consumer in the can. Also can be right condition. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. Samsung. Right price. Right, right. Samsung wants to ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding price to the retailer store and customers. Next one, products that the customer need either today or in the future, smartphone, laptops, HD TVs, etc. Right product. Right product, yes. And Hull has to guarantee that sufficient amount of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivered to customer. I think this is the right customer. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, just as an extra practice, I will suggest that you read probably right product and then you give the example, right place, and then you read the example and so on and so forth. And then just uh, exchange experience Think of your own experience as a customer. Choose three of the seminars and discuss what they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. Okay, from the seminars, you can choose just three and say why you choose these three and why do you think these are important for your satisfaction as a customer. The first thing, well, I think all of them are really important, but there are some that are pretty obvious. For example, if you request for something let's say you just order food from a restaurant they tell you that in 20 minutes it's going to be delivered to your house and it takes them like two hours obviously you're not a i mean you're not willing to pay for that food anymore right right price it's i mean the price that they tell you or the price that you see that is posted on the website or on the social media that they announce is a price not that they charge like a big amount of money when they deliver to your products, right? So that sort of experiences you can share with your partners, okay? So you still have 10 minutes to do that. I'm afraid, let me just do this.
All right. In my case, the three are to me are the most important is right price. No one wants to pay more to something that is not the right price, right? <laughs> so right price is the first one, the most important to me. Then I choose the right condition because no one wants nothing that is broken or, or is damaged. And then the right quantity because if it is a right price also has to be a right quantity so right price right condition and right quantity are my three right my three r's <laughs> for me i think it depends the kind of product but generally i think that uh, the more relevant to me are the right price. I also, uh, you don't want to pay more for something. Uh, uh, the right quantity, uh, because you don't want to. If you are paying the right price, uh, so you also need to to receive the right quantity, the thing that you are order. And then, I think that. That's right. Excuse me. Uh, the right time, because um, sometimes, uh, sometimes you need uh, the thing right. You need uh, something uh, as soon as possible. So also think that uh, at least for me, the the right time is also important. For me, the most important, I think that is uh, the right price. Uh, I think that my top three are right price, right time, and right condition. I think that um, the most important because if, if what I if um, and the right quantity, I think that is most important because I think that is related. If if the quantity is 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 according to what I'm what I'm paying. And uh, I would say right quantity and right price are, are for me the most important. After that, the, the right condition and after that, the, um, the right time. Well, Dia said something important that depends on the product and he is right mm -hmm. because maybe in food, I will choose another art in clothes. I will choose another art and maybe mm -hmm. in a product like a cell phone or like a, something electronic, I will choose another three R. So mm -hmm. it depends on the product. Yes, right. You will prioritize uh, according to the product. They were that they, they yeah. were all damaged. Yes, uh, I think it is a, a, a bad condition and uh, bad time because I have to I had to to wait uh, for a long time to to get the the, the product and uh, maybe. Also, I remember the, the last time when I buy a, a box of donuts. It, mm -hmm. happened, it happened the same, the same for, for from you. The, 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 all the donuts 
have a they look very awful <laughs> they were that da like damaged but they don't have a good looking and mm -hmm. yeah that was my, the last time that i i did a, a long uh waiting alone for by donuts then well uh, my my ex boss uh had a, another way he went in the morning to do a, a, a the order the, a pre order of donuts they pay for it and then in the afternoon he went to the Mr. Donut again only to pick up the donuts so that that donuts were in a good shape it was a good a, a good um una buena forma de hacerlo de poder comprar buenas donuts good way yeah good way. I, I did I did the same uh, same way the last Friday I went uh, I went in the morning to 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 today they take me a, an order in yeah. the afternoon I went to to take uh, and then the only to pick this pick place up. yes only pick up um they were many people waiting for donuts and i just um go only pick up and you know i i maybe the, the all the people that saw you Going, just getting in. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. I I coming to pick up my donuts. Oh, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, there aren't there aren't any donut in the <laughs> the shelf. Any donut in the shelf, and yeah. they have only only mine. <laughs> really. <laughs> That that's a good experience. <laughs> yeah. So you were you you it was it the... was and the it was and the Mr. Donald Santelena. <laughs> uh yeah, Donald Santelena does good donuts and they are very um they are very neat in to order to, to sell in donuts. But yeah. if you if you buy donuts in San Salvador in down, downtown, oh well, you could imagine all the people uh, yelling to each other or yelling to the to the vendors to <laughs> needing donuts. Yeah, and and they say me, they said me, they were a. Uh, uh, person that he he's wait he was waiting for 20 boxes of donuts wow after after him there are many people <laughs> and there were many people outside outside it and the, the restaurant waiting for donuts oh god it's like a, when you're going to buy a a, a chori, you only want to you only want your own chori, but the person uh, that it's in the in the line before of you, he was want he wants to buy 20, 20 choris. Uh, you only want have to weigh all that twenty choris for just one chori for you. <laughs> All right. Everybody finished? Let's get the attendance. Yes. Thanks. Abigail Elizabeth. 
a Tito Ernesto, Elizabeth Stephanie, present, Emerson Alexander, present, Fernando Viva. José, Ay. <laughs> Francisco Ernesto, <laughs> Hazel Vanessa, San Antonio Elías, Julissa Yamilet, Carla Ivania, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Magdalena, present, present, Manuel Alexander, present, Marilyn Alejandra, Mario Ernesto, present, Roberto Isaú, Ronald, Victor, present, Vidal, Valdir, Carlos. Present. I understand it's Francisco's turn to be on the one-on-one -on -one session. If not, it's Hazel. Is anyone available? Either Francisco or Hazel? None. Bueno, Antonio, neither. Julissa. Carla. Excuse me, teacher, about the exercise in the platform. Uh -huh. You can resolve. Mm, give me a second. It was 1.7, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. The one that was incorrect was the number two. Or the number three. I remember was the number two. Number two only in number five. Only number two. Only number two. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna resend because I have no answers. All right, I'm gonna resend that. Mm -hmm. Most likely tomorrow they let us know. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you very too. much. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.